Hey, what up guys? Okay, so I'm here with my uh, box of pupa, right? And today I thought I'd uh, tell you how to um, tell the gender of your pupas. Now, this only works for uh, Saturnia Day moths. I mean, you could probably make it work for others, but I'm not going to be able to tell you how to sex these butterfly pupa. Not these, like, little tiny moths that you might find. No hawk moths, none of that. Just the Saturnids. Because those are the only ones I know how to sext. But, let's start. Okay. So first off, in the uh, gender differences, the uh, dimorphism, as you will, you have females, which are quite small, much uh, bigger than the males, and then you have the males, which are much smaller. So here we have this male, and I'm going to take it out of the pupil shell. Hold up a second. Let me just uh, take a male and a female out so I can show you size differences. So first things first, we have the obvious size difference, right? Get it a good lighting. So look at that. This here is the female, and on the left is the male. Look at that huge size difference. The female is like twice as big as the male, right? But then we move on to the antenna, which are these little things right here. As you can see, the female, you can see her legs, most of her face, and her antenna are rather small. But then we look over at the male here. Look at that. Look at how big those antenna are. They're absolutely ginormous. And that is one really good way to uh, sex the Saturni Day pupa. And uh, in addition to that, <clears throat> uh, females obviously lay eggs. So if, if you find a wild one, that's how you would know. They have much bigger abdomens as a female. So those are, <clears throat> that's basically all you need to know to uh, tell the differences between the uh, sexes of the uh, pubas. And so that'll be all for this video, guys. I'll see you next time.